Okay, I am ready. It's 2.30 a.m. And uh, ready to go out 26 degrees out there and see if I can capture and see the uh, comet. There is my sky dome. Oh, okay. it's been taking photos. It's very, very cold. A little bit frozen. <laughs> You can see that uh, this telescope tends to work really good on all conditions. So, time to go, my dear. Let's find this comet. It's 3.35 a.m. I have been doing this for almost an hour. All of a sudden, I have so many technical problems with software that I never had before. But this is... Uh, my comment right here now i am going to go and check on shark app <laughs> this is the green comet so now i'm going to take a test photo and see where's the tail where's the tail <laughs> okay so um, now let's see, let me just go ahead and close here this camera uh, because there's always problems with the pics inside and here's the first uh, photo that I took. Um, it looks like the tail is going in this direction, I don't know. So I am going to turn off some lights here. And now it's time to take another photo, 30 seconds on luminance. Time to go in red. 70% on the photo. As you can tell, I am a little bit impatient right now. I have been waiting for this for many days. The weather, scene conditions are not good. Okay. Oh, look how pretty. So I am going to bring this... Um, Thank God there's no meridian flip or anything close right now. So let me just go ahead and bring this down to the west. <laughs> I am going to check on Shark Cap to be sure that I am doing this right. Okay. Let's just go ahead and take a look here on Shark Cap. And uh, yes, I think I'm going maybe a little bit lower, a little bit lower down. I just want to see if I have the tail. Let me just go a little bit faster here with the telescope. Okay, I think the tail should be going that way. If there's anything right now, I don't know. It may be the other way. Who knows? Let's just close and take another test photo. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, yes, it is that way. Okay, I see it. Okay, time to go in red again. This is so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> and this is my magnification because I am, remember, at a, a focal length of 1000. So I am going to bring it down one more step. And now I am just going to take a 10 second photo just to see where I am because I think I am good here. Uh, relatively in focus, uh, the scene conditions have been terrible until like midnight. Tonight I was photographing a um, star cluster and I was never able to really, really get in focus. So, okay, um, I am going to go even one more step down to the west probably see if I can capture a little more and I am going to center this and let me just go ahead here on the south moving this way to the south see if I can center it a little bit better 
Take another 10 second exposure. Yes, much better. You see how I'm moving here more to the center. Um, and let me just move one more time south. And now let me be sure that I am relatively in focus, focus, which looks good. And I think I'm going to leave it right there. Let's take one more test photo. And I am going to use my beautiful Optolong LX L uh, Pro and uh, photograph in green and blue and see what happens. Oh, this is so exciting. The uh, no guiding tonight. I'm not using PHD2. I have some technical problems with it too. Um, having problems with the guiding camera. So I am going just with the mount the way it is. Very simple. One more to the south. Let's just go ahead and move one more. I want to have it a little bit more center. I don't want to get too close down here as I get problems here all the time with light pollution and who knows what else. So um, let me take another 10 seconds exposure. Yes, and that's it. I am going for it. Very nice. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's 4 a.m. and I am back <laughs> and there is Canela. Canela sleeps in a crate because it's freezing outside. She wants to be with Mama. She wants to participate in everything. It's 4 a.m. Oh my God. I am in the guest house. This is where I do my um, astronaut. The telescope is literally out here. Wow, look at that. Um, so this is uh, from Nina. And right now I have taken already nine photos on the um, Optolong L Pro, I think it is. I have all kind of Optolong, so yes. And that is the best I can do regarding the uh, focusing because it's the scene conditions are not the best and I haven't have the opportunity to do this properly it's no guiding nothing i'm just doing 30 seconds and it's looking really good the photograph the comment was not as hard as i thought it was going to be but the editing was a pain in the human eye but <laughs> Ha 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 ha!